These cute creatures are one of the world's most endangered animals, the northern hairy-nosed wombat. There's only 315 of the marsupials left, spread out across two protected reserves in Queensland. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is really special because it's the largest burrowing uh, herbivore in the world and it's larger than the other two species of wombat that we have in Australia. So they max out at about 35 kilos um, and they're over a metre long. So they're an enormous burrowing animal. The wombats once lived in areas from central Victoria right through to central Queensland. But by the 1980s, land clearing and wild dogs decreased the population to only 35. Isolated to Epping Forest National Park near Clermont in central Queensland. Conservation work at that park and the relocation of some of the animals to the Richard Underwood Nature Refuge near St George in the mid-2000s has seen the population grow to over 300. But conservationists say they need to spread the marsupials out to more locations. So one of the big threats for an isolated population like that is that all your eggs are in one basket. So if there's a drought or a catastrophic fire at Epping, that's where the majority of the animals are and there's, there's no space for error in terms of we're only talking about 300 plus individuals. So having our population spread out over their historic range allows us to manage this population better and safeguard it into the future. To do that, they say they need to better understand the structure of the wombat burrows. So at the moment we've got some people on site using ground penetrating radar and why that's really important is that we're gonna be mapping the burrow systems of the northern hairy nosed wombat and what that tells us as scientists and as conservation managers is that we can look at how they utilise their natural environment. And so here at Runner, the soil structure is different to the other population up at Epping Forest National Park. And so here, we're assuming that the burrows have a different structure and depth. And understanding how deep the burrows go allows us to dictate where we can look for potential future habitat. So we're using a multi-array ground penetrating radar system that shoots uh, radio waves into the ground and it records a signal coming back up and that's how we, we see our targets. So normally we map underground services, so you'd, you'd power, Telstra, um, water, sewer, things like that. So this is very different. Very different, yes. And they're just incredible that they've been able to survive from only 35 individuals, so I'm amazed <laughs> at their ability to, to, um, to survive, to come back from the brink the way they have. A third reserve for the wombats is expected to open west of St George next year. Hopefully the research that we're doing today will help inform the type of ha habitat that northern hairy-nosed wombats can um, utilise and really as many sites as possible would be great and um, eventually have the wombats reintroduced into the wild, not in fenced enclosures would be the very, very long-term goal for the species. Thank <laughs> you.